with hard-nosed, physical, disciplined, tough football, and they will be victorious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the University of Michigan football team. Gentlemen, men and women of Michigan, I am proud to present to you a guy that uh, needs no introduction, but he's a friend, he's a great coach, and he's a great human being. He leads young men into battle tomorrow against Southern California, and more importantly, he creates young men that can go on in the world after football is over, and we can all be proud of them. Please welcome Lloyd Carr. see so many of you that have come from all over the country to be here to cheer this football team tomorrow on to victory. Um, back in August, the band came over to Schembechler uh, to the field there and uh, we, a few days before our first game, we get to play. Uh, predictions and that's up to the media but um, the one thing I will promise you this has been a great football team to coach we've had great leadership and I promise you tomorrow they're gonna play in a way that they'll give everything they have to make you proud of the kind of young men and, the, and of this uh, great university that we all represent uh, I'm going to bring up three guys that were selected by their teammates as captains, the greatest honor a Michigan football player can receive. First, from Columbus, Ohio. He's a nose guard. He's not very big. He's not very fast. But he's a great football player. And he's been a great leader, and uh, I promise you tomorrow, he'll play his best game. Grant Bowman. <laughs> not big and not very fast, just like his coach. <laughs> everybody for coming out here we've got great support I can't believe how many people are here it's uh, unbelievable the support we get and uh, all week everybody's been asking me all the reporters saying how's it gonna be it's basically a home game for USC I mean you guys probably won't have very many crowds for it but I just want to say that's what, that's what they've been saying but I know that everybody's gonna show up and we're gonna make it Michigan Stadium West so we're looking forward to it. This guy comes from Warren Ohio He's been a great career as well. He's a linebacker, he's been a three-year starter, and uh, a great leader. And tomorrow, 
He's part of a defense that has the challenge of stopping the finest offense in college football. Carl Diggs. I just want to say it's great to be here. Um, we're going to go out tomorrow and give 100%. I know we're going to need y'all support. Um, just everybody just stay into the game. And, you know, just be with us. Go Blue. Our quarterback, John Navarre. Yeah. to see you all uh you know we've been here for a while and uh, haven't seen too many friendlies but uh this is warm welcome you look up here and see you guys are taking over this hotel yeah. Yeah. i know one thing the next two days i, I believe this hotel is going to be rocking so uh we'll be have plenty to celebrate about we're going to work hard and uh thanks for coming out and we'll see you all tomorrow on a bright sunny day like this and, uh, thanks go blue I do want to bring one more guy up here on the team. But he's had a great career at Michigan. He's one of the great football players we've had at Michigan. And he's the first player to win the Dope Walker Award. Come on up, Chris Perry. big shock for me to roll up here and see all these people you know I wasn't expecting this many of Michigan fans but uh it's a it's a great privilege to play in front of y'all and for y'all to support us and uh, we're going to go out there on the first and do our best and uh try to come out uh, victorious on January 1st so uh, go blue now but he was wrong Michigan will not be outnumbered tomorrow
a muscle man. This is the way to live. Sleep on the beach.
<laughs> Icky man. You go lift some weights, pump some iron with those boys. I can't show them how to do it. I want to bear something. Dog watches. Bob Marley sang out. I see a celebrity. King James. Up there, LeBron. Jim Morrison's house. Where you from? What country? What, what country? What Michigan. State? Michigan. Michigan. Boston. Boston. Uh, uh, but uh, to be more lights, I'm going to turn left. And... But this is, some of the celebrities, when they pass away, they sell the pen right there, and he has an old green Ferrari. This is the main gate entrance. To your left, to your left, that one right here. Dog. Who is this? Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Oh, Hanks. Frank Sinatra. Now remember, a lot of the celebrities, they don't only own one house. I mean, with, look at these people has been here for, for a long time. Do these people, I mean, since those houses were like about, I could say like about maybe, Hundred fifty thousand oh, dollars back in the old days. That was a lot of money. Now coming up, next house to your left. Now look at last week, a week and a half ago, he had a big party right here. The doors were open, and they brought those machines to for to make snow. And there were like so, uh, a lot of snow was in, uh, yeah, like it was like if it was snowing. I don't know if some of you too that ready to come for the Christmas decorations. Now look at I'm gonna turn. I wanna make a, a, a left turn right here, and then you'll see it better on your right hand side. Okay. Fresh Prince of Valley. Now who remembers the name of the lady? Josh Thompson, the boy. Then I have a caravan back there. With of course two lab uh, lab rovers, uh, one in the front, one in the back, in the middle uh, 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 of a limousine, and uh, they stopped me right here. There's a lot of security. That's an entrance right there, and also next, of course. Nancy didn't like the idea of calling Ronnie the Antichrist. We take a picture so that way uh, uh, I could slow down. And at the end of the of the uh, of the tour, so uh, you won't be mad. So you'll be happy. Okay? <laughs> and from this side, you can see it a little bit more. Look at the gentleman in the, the, the back or everybody. Look at from right here, you can see it a little bit better on your right hand side. Like, if you sit up, okay? And now the carpet. Then, oh, good job. I try to do my best. I know you folks coming from far away. And, and you got it? This is how they, they buy one of me. Johnny Carson, okay? They even brought up more trees. Look at, they are remodeling this house right now. 
Maybe you ask me, if, just in case you guys ask me, what is he doing in Malibu? He does own another house in Malibu, okay? And uh, they were still remodeling this. He was born in Chihuahua, Mexico. Who's Mexican? Chihuahua. He was, of course, a German. Do you like there you go. It was no long time. This is what I always say. Look at here. He's got a nice Rolls Royce. He's got a black Rolls Royce, and he's got. I like his Mercedes. He's got a red Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. He left. He left. Also, another man that owns another house in Pacific Palisades. And there's another. Now, where's this made from? Where is that? Canada. If you know, it's Canadian. Jim Carrey. Of course, he grew up in and, um, New York and here in Los Angeles. Jim Carrey. Okay, my favorite house. Now, this is solid brick house. From all these, from all these earthquakes that we've been having here in LA, look at there's no crack. So it was. They played here in Los Angeles. It was in 1964 at the Hollywood Bowl. They were so famous. The right hand side, the the biggest swimming pool that we have here in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, the book says that when he used to have parties here, when they used to have, uh, when him and his friends used to get kind of drunk, feeling good, they used to have canoe races. Okay. Just goes around. Around the house, good race. Johnny Weissmiller. Oh. Right. Now look at at the entrance. A lot of these these houses they have uh, lions, panthers, lamb. He's got two eagles. Right? From this other side, you can see part of the house too. Okay. Remember, she used to come out in Cheers. She was the waitress in Cheers, right there. From this other side, you can see the house. Uh, a couple of years they did have. Okay. On your left hand side.